Hello students, I am Dr. Seema Singh and you are watching my channel Bonding with Chemistry. In today's video, we will talk about a metal which is chemically quite similar to sodium metal in its properties. But still, unlike sodium is not available in our science laboratories. The metal is potassium. You might think that there are many other metals which are not a part of our science labs. Then why did I zero in on potassium? This is because we do study reactions of potassium along with sodium in our theory classes. But when activities or demonstrations are performed, potassium is left out. The reason is not that this metal is not affordable like precious metals gold and platinum. It is something else. And before we find out why potassium is generally missing from our school science labs, let us know a brief about it. Potassium is a chemical element with the symbol capital K. It is a silvery white waxy metal that is soft enough to be cut with a knife with just a little bit of force. It is the second least dense metal after lithium. The English name for the element potassium comes from the word potash which actually refers to an old and original method of extracting potassium salts. Those early methods involved placing ash of burnt wood or tree leaves in a pot. Let me illustrate the process with the help of a rough sketch. You have a pot and in this pot ash from burnt wood or tree leaves is kept. Thereafter water is added into this and the resulting solution is evaporated by heating it. So since you have ash in the pot, you have the word pot ash. Moving ahead, potassium was the first metal that was isolated by the process of electrolysis of molten potassium hydroxide also known as caustic potash. The process of electrolysis was carried out by Sir Humphrey Davy in the year 1807 and it was he who named it potassium. It is reported that Sir Davy actually danced in absolute delight when he discovered potassium. Coming to its symbol capital K whose origin is from the word Kelly which itself is derived from the root word alkali or kalium, which in turn came from the Arabic word meaning plant ashes. In the year 1814, the Swedish chemist Berzelius advocated the name kalium for potassium with the chemical symbol K. As far as the biological role of potassium is concerned, it is the seventh most common element by mass present in the human body, somewhere around 0.2 to 0.4%. The potassium ions along with its partner in crime, sodium, are extremely vital for the functioning of all living cells. Potassium belongs to group 1 of the periodic table. Some other members of this group, which is known as the alkali metal group, are lithium, sodium, rubidium, cesium and francium. Here, francium is a radioactive metal. The atomic number of potassium is 19 and its atomic mass is approximately 39 unified atomic mass. Potassium has an electronic configuration 2881. Therefore, it has a tendency to lose one electron and attain the configuration of nearest stable noble gas argon. Well, students, potassium is a very reactive metal, a little more reactive than its little sister or you may say little brother sodium because of its greater size. Being bigger in size, it can lose the one valence electron easily forming unipositive ion and that makes it very reactive. In the reactivity series also, potassium is placed above sodium illustrating it to be more reactive metal. And because potassium is so reactive, it does not occur in nature in elemental state or 
potassium is not found in free state in nature however minerals and compounds from which potassium is isolated do exist now coming to discuss what this video is all about although as i said earlier that potassium and sodium are partners in crime potassium doesn't get as much attention as sodium in our school science laboratories whereas the reaction of metal sodium with water is eye catching and a part of essential activity to be demonstrated by the teachers that of potassium even though more spectacular is limited only to its theoretical explanation the reason being the more violent reaction of potassium which might lead to explosions let us learn more about the explosive nature and reaction of potassium dear students do note that even reaction of sodium with water are vigorous and require a teacher's supervision as already stated pure potassium or elemental potassium is a highly reactive metal it reacts violently with oxygen as well as with water with atmospheric oxygen it rapidly reacts in just few seconds of exposure to form oxides these oxides could be normal oxide here you have oxygen with valency o2 negative peroxide where peroxide anion is denoted by o2 two negative or superoxide ion which is denoted by o2 negative these oxides can produce explosive reactions when combined with substances such as water organic compound acids etc the reaction of potassium with water leads to the formation of oxides along with hydrogen gas and heat the oxide form rapidly reacts with water to form potassium hydroxide a strong base let us write down the chemical equations for the reaction of potassium with water we have two equations in the first equation potassium reacts with water to form potassium oxide along with hydrogen and heat in the second equation this potassium oxide quickly reacts with water to form a base potassium hydroxide now since this two reaction happens very fast we can add the two equations to get the final equation as 2k plus 2 water give rise to 2koh plus hydrogen plus delta that is heat when you add this k2o will cancel out with this k2o and you're going to add water as to water students note that for senior and senior secondary level or you can say your high school level the reaction of potassium with water is provided like this in the textbook but in actual practice this reaction the first reaction is more complex about which you will study in your higher classes well this reaction can be violently exothermic as the heat produced is sufficient enough to ignite this hydrogen leading to an explosion thus potassium when exposed to water or even moisture present in air explodes with a purple or lilac flame to prevent potassium from reacting with oxygen and water present in the air samples of metallic potassium are stored under anhydrous i mean dry mineral oil or kerosene oil for the very same reason lithium and sodium metals are also stored under mineral oil or kerosene now here students i would like to convey an important finding a research work by scientist pevel jungworth and his colleagues from the academy of sciences of the czech republic contradict strongly the textbook knowledge which says that alkali metals catch fire in water due to release of heat steam formation and ignition of hydrogen gas even i explain you the same thing a little while ago let us go back to it so these scientists have contradicted what we have been studying and teaching students from the textbooks which says that alkali metal catch fire in water due to release of heat steam formation and ignition of hydrogen these scientists suggest that the initial process that enables the explosion of alkali metals like sodium potassium etc in water 
is of completely different nature. I will not be going into the details of this paper, but in case you want to read the research paper that was published in 2015 for enhancing your interest as well as knowledge, here is the link. Let me now show you a video that I have taken from Wikipedia demonstrating the reaction of a very tiny piece of potassium with water. Here it is. So students, you just saw that potassium caught fire the moment it came in contact with water. And because potassium is lighter than water, it floats on the surface and was seen dancing or moving rapidly in zigzag manner. My dear students, there are quite a few videos that are available on the internet which demonstrate the reaction of potassium with water. But it is highly recommended that they are not copied or performed by you. There are also many teachers who want to demonstrate the more violent reaction of potassium along with that of sodium so as to illustrate their students the volatile power of chemistry. But the risk associated with such demonstrations is huge and that is the reason the metal potassium is not available in school science laboratories. In fact, many countries have banned the use of potassium in schools owing to it being a high risk element with greater hazardous nature than educational utility. For example, it is banned from New South Wales Department of Education schools and is considered high risk in Queensland, Australia. The major concern about the use and storage of potassium metal is the hazards associated with its long term storage. Unlike lithium and sodium, potassium should not be stored under oil for longer than 6 months. There are reports that suggest that on prolonged storage, the metal has the potential to form dangerous, shock-sensitive yellow color peroxides and superoxides on its surface and under the lid of the container. Let me explain this with the help of a rough sketch. Suppose you have a glass bottle and in this glass bottle you have potassium metal stored under mineral oil or kerosene oil. This is your potassium metal and here it's a closed bottle. Now on prolonged storage the metal potassium has a potential to form dangerous yellow or orange color peroxides and superoxides respectively on its surface you can see here and under the lid of the container even when it is stored under mineral oil or kerosene or under vacuum and now this potassium can detonate upon opening or when handled with the tweezer or cut with the knife these oxides react violently not only with the combustible storage solvent, here the combustible storage solvent is this oil. Not only these oxides have a tendency to react with oil and lead to explosion, but also they can react with metal itself. So when you try to cut the metal, the fresh potassium surface can react with potassium superoxide and lead to explosion. The chances no doubt are rare for such occurrence but quite significant. Let me cite few incidents or rather accidents which have been reported in the literature. You can check the references provided here for further details. In one of the articles published by the reputed American Chemical Society in the year 1985, there are reports of an instructor getting serious hand and face injuries when he tried to cut a potassium metal with knife. He suffered cuts from glass pieces and burn injuries from the burning oil and potassium. The potassium being used was an old sample on whose surface layer of potassium superoxide was formed which on being cut reacted with fresh potassium to form peroxide or oxide as I just explained to you. Another article published by ACS in the year 2008 reported an incident where a 62-year-old 
experienced chemistry teacher minded an experienced chemistry teacher suffered severe burns when he tried to demonstrate the properties of potassium at secondary school in Switzerland while taking out a small piece of potassium stored under petroleum in a glass bottle with the help of a knife the piece exploded splashing burning petroleum on the chest of the teacher nothing happened to the glass bottle and the potassium stored in it fortunately no student was injured but because of this incident a total ban on the use of potassium at the secondary school of the canton of saint gallen was proposed the teachers were asked to safely dispose the stocks of potassium at their schools and not to use it again let me tell you one more incident laboratory safety institute lsi a non-profit educational institution that provides courses and consulting for chemical laboratories worldwide has put up a memorial wall on its website remembering people who were killed in various lab accident in one such incident the culprit was potassium metal in year 1929 hungary a science teacher was killed in a demonstration that involved this metal I am sure now you would have understood why potassium is not available in your science laboratories my dear students as already stated to quench your curiosity you may watch the reaction of potassium with water in various videos available online some of them show violent explosions too where chemists are actually seeing fleeing for their lives as they demonstrate these reactions in schools the same reaction can be demonstrated by your teacher carefully using lithium or sodium metals as these reactions are a bit milder as compared to that of potassium for further information try reading about the potential dangers of this metal in your spare time my dear students it is always better to be safe than sorry with this I come to the end of this video. In case you like my video, do please spare a moment and give it a thumbs up. In my upcoming video, I'll take up the reaction of metals with water for class 10. So do stay tuned to my channel. Please subscribe to it and share this video with anyone who you feel might benefit. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care and stay bonded, my dear learners.